such loss bracelet. What are your feelings right now? I mean, a lot of relief, really, you know, because I've, like I was saying, I have a lot of anxiety about coming heads up. I've had so many seconds, and it was just nice for things to like really feel like they went my way, you know, at this final point. So you've been playing this event since 2006. What is this ranking in terms of career accomplishments? There's one event in the world that I want to play more than any, and I wanted to win more than any, and it's this one. This is the one. I mean, obviously the main event is special and it's in a different way, but this one is all the best players in the world, pro heavy field, playing 100 minute levels, three hour levels, days and days of grind till, you know, 12 hours a day. So to come out on top, you can't fluke that. You see your vlogs every day, thousands of people watch them. You see you interacting with fans all the time. How important do you take your role as a poker ambassador in trying to grow the game? I mean, I always sort of just fell into it. It's something I always felt like I could do. I was a natural for being on camera doesn't bother me one bit. And I thought it'd be fun to give people a chance to sort of sweat, you know, along with me. And, and that's why I do what I do. It's just fun. So your first bracelet since you married Amanda, what does it mean to you to have her here with you? It's very cool. Like, I mean, this is the first time she's been down here since we moved here. Because she's like, she's going to come for when I win. And I have winning so uh, it was nice to have her here for the moment for sure is it more meaningful to you to end the drought or is it more meaningful to you right now to have won the ppc yeah emphatically because like imagine i won a 1k turbo online and got my seventh it's like okay whatever it's a, this is a five-day marathon against all professional players playing nine different games for 12 hours a day you got phil ivy on your left you got john hennigan on your right there's no soft spot so to come out on top in this that's a real win. How much more difficult is it now to win a bracelet than it was when you last won? Well, there's so many great players out there now and big fields. You know, the poker's just growing and growing, so it's obviously more difficult. I continue each year to put myself in position, and finally today, everything went right for me to win. Now with the bracelet, are we chasing player of the year now, or do you think you still have a shot at that? I was always chasing player of the year, you know, undercover. I what? knew I needed a win or two. So, and the way that it works now is you only need to, like, count 10 caches. I think I have nine. And another win, you know, that puts me in, uh, that'll put me up there.